Welcome to another round of stories making headlines in the country right now. A very good afternoon. How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, has been criticized by a section of Ugandans after addressing the nation on the current state of affairs in the country. Uh, Bobby Wine addressed the nation through his Facebook channel and it seems a section of the public is not contented with what he talked about. Uh, people like Stella Nyanzi are saying Bobby Wine neither offered solutions nor guidance on how to go about you know, the skyrocketing commodity prices in the country. She says, please Bobby Wine, it's time to get out of that suit and attack the situation as it is, otherwise Ugandans uh, need you back on the streets. Well, Stella Nyanzi right there for you. I don't know what you make of her comments, but of course we all know everyone is entitled to their opinion. So uh, personally, no offense. I got no offense with, uh, you know, Dr. Stella Nyanzi's opinion. I don't know what you think, but you can put your comments down in the comment section right there. Well, in other news, uh, the opposition in parliament, led by their leader, that is Horrible Mathas Mbuga, have decided to boycott President Museveni's State of the Nation address. Uh, the leader of opposition says uh, Museveni has failed to offer tangible, practicable solutions to the conditions in the country. Uh, Mathas Mbuga says there is nothing different President Museveni is going to communicate to Ugandans. Therefore, there is no need to attend the State of the Nation address. After consultation with uh, all party whips in the opposition, we have elected to stay away from today's address by the president. In failing to address and offer tangible, practicable solutions to the conditions of the economy by evolving solutions that will help everyone out of this economic depression. The country awaited for his address three weeks ago in which he said he has nothing to do and we are aware he's going to say the same thing so we are not interested in dozing over that address. The independence of the judiciary is no more in this country. That's why you see people getting directives from the president not to give bail to our colleagues Segedin and uh, Honorable Sewanyana. So really, I think it's the time the president should know that the opposition are duly elected members by the community. We have the mandate of the people and we deserve that respect when decisions are being made in this country. So we've not gone. Yes, you may think there is no impact, but to us, he needs us more there than, you know, being out of it. So I think this is the only way we can show him uh, all the disgruntlement that we have. Yesterday in the evening, the leader of opposition communicated to all the party whips. For us in FDC, our whip, Semuju Nganda, communicated to all the members of parliament belonging to FDC never to go to Colorado. Therefore, I am saying we are respecting and we are following what has been agreed as opposition. However, NRM's Member of Parliament representing the people of Bukoli County, that is Solomon Serranyi, says the opposition members of Parliament have done bad to miss the State of the Nation address because you cannot fight from outside. I have always told them and I will tell them again and the opposition should listen to this, you cannot fight from outside. You have to struggle from inside. That's why they formed the opposition. Otherwise, there would be no opposition. But why they participated in the elections and formed the opposition is because they are part of parliament and you should fight from inside. These boycotts have yielded nothing ever since they started. So I think they are not going to yield anything or to get anything from this opposition. The most important thing would be for them to come to, to parliament, to come and attend the address, we open the session, and then we start parliament. Because they are not going to 
get anything from the boycott. This session is going to move on smoothly and we shall have the budget speech next week and then we shall start parliament. They should come here, listen, so that we get, because they, they are given, the opposition is given a chance to respond and the law pass to respond to the state of nation address officially. So they should be here, listen, not from TVs, but from here, from parliament. Then they listen and then they respond. But whenever you boycott, you miss a point. Unless you're going to boycott everything in the parliament. But I always see them boycott, then they come back by themselves. It doesn't work. You have to fight from inside. Boycott is, I think, something that is backward. Uh, there you go. That is Solomon Serrani, a uh, Bukoli County Member of Parliament on the NRM ticket. Otherwise, more updates are still coming in. And right here on the Buzz UG, I'll keep you posted. So what you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melanie Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you. Yeah.